Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to do a review of this movie, Turtles Forever. Now technically, I did a review of this a few years back, but as I was um, re-watching this movie uh, for a review that I just recorded, recorded for the Retro Collective, which I will also try to put in the description of a link to the uh, that channel in the description below. Um, I figured I will uh, give this a rewatch and see if my views changed, and then do another review. So, long story short, the premise of this um, movie: these turtles, being the 2013, uh, 2012, oh, a little bit. 2003 Turtles, the Turtles I grew up with, meets the 1987 Turtles. The 1987 Turtles get teleported into the 2000 Turtles in a dimension because they had a fight with Shredder, their Shredder, and then they got teleported into uh, what was then the current day Turtles. This was before Rise of the Ninja Turtles, the Michael Bay Turtles. And before the uh, um, Seth Rogen Turtles are going to come out later this year. So that's why, like, there's this one scene where we see, like, multiple different turtles. We don't see those three sets because those three versions of the turtles haven't come out yet by the time this movie came out. Anyways. Um, so the 1980s Turtles get teleported to the old three turtles dimension. Then the 80s Turtles thinking that they can go around... Like, whatever, like, how they usually do it, um, how they usually operate things, um, in their dimension, gets, uh, gets kidnapped by the Purple Dragons. It's on the news, the Turtles, and Splinter sees it, the Turtles mount a mess rescue mission for their dimensional, uh, counterparts. They, um, they have this fight with the Purple Dragons, free the other Turtles, the Turtles and the two Turtles teams has this little meaning. The old three Turtles has the 80 Turtles. Who the hell are you? How did you get here? And the Turtles, 80 Turtles says, Sir, who will tell you? Just as we get a slice of pizza, eh? And so, the 80 Turtles go on the ground, interact with everybody, not knowing that they should be in the shadows because this dimension, people don't accept the Turtles as much as the eight, their own dimension. And, um, essentially, when they have the pizza co uh, place, the cops are called because four alien looking creatures. And, um, they get kidnapped by the 2003 Turtles. And that's where they meet the, the O3 tr Splinter. And, um, that's when we find out that the reason why. The 80 Turtles is in the old three Turtles dimension. It's because they were fighting. The 80 Turtles were fighting their first on the Shredder. And they got teleported in there. In this dimension. And, uh. So. The two Turtle teams figure out a way to, um. Bring the uh, 80 Turtles back. Essentially. Or tries to. But Han. Uh, there's this fight scene with Han and the Purple Dragons. Han wants the mutagen that the 80s Donnie has. Oh! I skipped over a part, sorry. Um, there was, if memory serves me right, um, we see the 1980s Shredder we see the Technodrome, and we see the 80s Shredder um, sending out his foot soldiers with Bebop and Rest Rocksteady to, to defeat the true 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 teams and Splinter. And um, the old three turtles are surprised that they're facing robotic soldiers. And um, essentially, um, they call, like, 
The 80s shredder calls a retreat and had to have four soldiers self-destruct and um, was forces the turtles to kind of go back to their lair. And uh, if memory serves me right, that's when the whole purple second the remaster of the purple dragons comes along because um, Hans wants the mutagen, which Han, um, Hans has the mutagen, but it gets transformed into a a turtle because he like one of the canisters uh, opens up right, and um, and then um. Backtracking a little bit more to catch you guys up a bit, the 80 Shredder and Cr and Krang locates the old three first in Shredder, which he's an Ultron. You really have to like um be up to date with the old three turtles to understand why um Shredder is in this ice cold in orbit. Which, if memory serves me right, um it's been a while since I watched the 2003 Turtles, and I've been. I've been like slowly watching uh, um the 1980s turtles, and um, I gotta re give the old three turtles uh show a rewatch because it's been a like hot minute. But if memory serves me right, correct me if I'm wrong. The reason why the shredder was in ice by the time like the 80s shredder and Krang finds uh the shredder in there was because. So there was this Ultron Council, which Ultron's kind of like, they were the old three first in Turtles, like, first in of the, uh, Krang. No, actually calling them Krang. I feel like. And, um, there was this, like, uh, Ultron Council, and I believe that they got tired of the Shredder's bullshit, so they put him in prison. So that's why when we see the Shredder in ice in this movie, that's why. In memory serves me right. And if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that is the right explanation. And so, 80 Shredder's sad. They ice him out. Krang and um, Shredder gets at it with each other. And then the O3 Shredder wakes up when 80 Shredder says, I am the Shredder. And... The old three shredder has an ego saying, I'm the only shredder, bitch. And then he knocks him out. And then. The shredder and crank develops this thing where they knock. They use gas. Um, they gas uh, Ultron Shredder down. And as they were trying to dissect uh, Ultron Shredder, that is when. Um. Cry comes in and tries to save Ultron Shredder. And Cry is Shredder's adoptive daughter in this universe. Um, which essentially means like uh, the eighties Krang Shredder are now teaming up with O three Shredder and um, Cry. And so now coming forward to like. Hans getting mutated by his, um, into a mutant turtle, being the fifth turtle, um, Shredder comes out saying, you had to look like you had a pretty long day. You want, it looks like you have, uh, common ground again. You want to, uh, come back and, um, team up. And, um, Hans says, sure. And then, essentially, um, eight, uh, old three Shredder sends Hans, Bebop, Roxetti, and now the new updated robotic foot soldiers to invade the old three turtles home to capture the shredder. The two turtles, like the eight turtles, um, they get teleported off before the um lair gets destroyed. Splinter um gets left behind. And the two like the eight turtles gets teleported into the eighties um um you know, first I mentioned, and I thought that was cool. Like I love bring back to that because, like, a, um, scenery. Because, like I said, I've been uh, um rewatch. I've been watching for the first time the '80s series, and I remember when I was watching this, and and I also gave my first review. My 
criticism was with the 80s turtles is that they were too goofy and that they should have used the um, 80s cartoon when they were saving April O'Neil in the 80s dimension. And after watching the 80s cartoon, I can understand why the turtles are so goofy. I still think they should have been a tad bit more serious just by a tad. Because I feel like they were even too goofy for even the, uh, tur these turtles' um, uh, standards. But that's just me. And, um... So, like, after watching, like, I want to say, like, 107 episodes of the 80s Turtles, I can appreciate it, the, these Turtles being goofy a bit more. Just, I feel like, I, I just want, would have loved, loved to have seen these Turtles be a tad bit more serious, just by a tad. But I still feel the same way as I did back in the day. Um... With my uh, original review for this movie, where I feel like they should have had the eighty turtles theme playing as these turtles were rescuing their April. That's just me. Um, that's really the only criticism, real criticism I have to the eighty turtles. Really, is that they should have played their eight theme song while rescuing April. I mean, I can't understand if they can't couldn't get the original cast back, but they should have. Um, did the, um, OG theme song. Like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Sort of talk, I mean, Splinter talk them to be Ninja Team. Leonardo leads the Nutella dust machine. Ravio is cool, but rude. Michelangelo is a party dude. That, I don't know. Maybe it was a copyright issue, and maybe I'm being too hard on them in this scenario. If you guys know why they didn't use the original theme song, please let me know. Um... Now I wonder if it was a copyright issue. If it is, let me know, and then I'll like. I feel like in my mind, I will be more. I will be more understanding. I feel like. Um, so there's that. Um. What else? So the. Two, the eight turtles goes to the lair, and the old three turtles meets the eighties shredder. I mean, Splinter. Um, they hang out a bit. They kind of mourn Splinter a bit. The two thousand like Leo and Raph, no, uh, kind of mourns their Splinter a bit because, as far as they know, Splinter could be dead. So I can't blame them for mourning a Splinter right now, and um. Splinter, um, well, Splinter is captured. He's his, uh, his prisoner to lure the uh, turtles back in. When he know, like, some time passed, the turtles, 80, 80 Stani, says, okay, now I fixed this transdimensional, uh, portal thing. So let's see where this leads to. And then it shows, like, um, the technodrome causing, uh, chaos to the, um, um, 2003 New York, and at this point, uh, some of the human food soldiers, I think all of them, got transformed into mutants. And so, the two turtle teams goes back to the t 2003 universe and tries to mount a rescue mission for, to, for Splinter. But it's a trap, because now the turtles are, like, now, like, in this, like, pers help prisoner in this, uh, tractor beam thing, Majig. And, um, the Shredder, the O3 Shredder, explains to the two turtle teams that there's just more, there's more than just the two of you. Two, the two turtle teams. There's a plethora of turtle teams. And we see all the Ninja Turtles that were out at the time. Like the, uh, um, there was this one episode in the 2003 Turtles where Donatello goes to, to this future where, like, what if Donatello wasn't part of the team? What would have happened, like, like 20, 30 years in the future? We saw that image. We saw the 2007 TMNT movie, Ope, there. We saw the 
original live action turtle team up there. Um, and we saw like multiple different turtle teams up there. It was really cool. It's really beautiful to see, and that's like my favorite part. Because if you're just into just getting introduced to the Ninja Turtles and you're watching this, that scene will show you just how many different versions of the uh, Turtles um, there was. And this movie came out before like every single movie tried to do the whole multiverse thing. So I like, I feel like if this movie came out, let's say last year, I probably would say, they are getting into the whole multiverse thing, but this was like back in like 2010. When like the whole doing multiverse things was not as common as this today. And um, there's that. Um, what else? So the beams that the turtles were held onto was like downloading their DNA, so we can see get um, so the Strider can track their original source turtle, so. He can try to destroy them, so he can destroy the turtles forever. And, um, turns out, kind of jump, cut, jump in a bit, because the turtles, after they disappear, they reappear, and they go to Turtle Prime. Turtle Prime turns out to be the comic, the original black and white comic book run turtles. And I love how one of the two turtle teams meet the comic book turtles, Le the Leonardo of that turtle, they raised us like kicking the two turtle team's asses. I just thought that was cool. And then, essentially, the three turtle teams, um, teams up to face the old three shredder. But the three turtle teams aren't the only one. They are, uh, um, joined by the old three splinter. The 1980s um, Shredder, Krang, Bleef, Bebop, and Rocksteady was there. And, um, Splinter. I said, no, Bebop and Rocksteady were still in the Technodrome. They weren't fighting, really. Um. And I think that's what it was like for. I believe that was eight in total. So the eight. Heroes that were fighting the Shredder, like, or the six heroes, two villains that were fighting the Shredder, they were trying to get Shredder into the beam, and they were successful. And essentially, after like nearly like killing their original uh, turtles, wiping life as we know it, uh, 80 turtles throws an explosive boomerang and loosens. Uh, the grip that he has on the uh, comic, the classic turtles, and um, Ultron Shredder gets destroyed. Um, 80 Shredder and a crane goes back to the Technodrome. Uh, 80 uh, Turtles and um, O3 Turtle says, says her goodbye. It's like Kawabunga, Turtle Power, and then they like went their separate ways. Then we get this little cool after credit scene. Ish. Where it was Kevin Eastman and Peter Lord. And we see we don't see their faces, but we see like this table and it has comic book runs of like of the original first on the Ninja Turtles. And I believe the Ninja Turtles came out in nineteen eighty three as a comic book. And it was a black and white and they were talking about I hope this really sells. Let's go for some pizza, eh? And then, that's the end of the movie. I'm so happy that I had rewatched this movie. Because, like I said, I've been rewatched. I, I've been um, watching the 80s Turtles. Uh, um, I'm sure I'm on like the 5th or 6th season at this point. Um, and... After watching 
the eighties turtles, like I said, I can't like so I can have a better uh, appreciation for how they depicted um the eighties turtles um in here. Now, like I said, my only criticism, like real criticism, is that they should have had the uh, 80s theme playing when these turtles were rescuing their April. And, um, I wish, this is not really a criticism, this per se, but, um, I wish that these turtles were a tad bit more serious. I didn't mind the goofiness that these brought because we needed the comedy relief, but I wish these turtles were a tad bit more serious. Because they even got on Mike, the old three Michelangelo's nerves. And, um... Yeah, I'm saying that because, yeah, the 80s turtles were goofy. But they had a tad bit more of a serious side to it, them. Like, they, like, were goofy, but serious. Like, these turtles were more serious than goofy. These turtles were, like, goofy... And a bit serious, too. And I feel like they didn't portray the bit serious part well enough for these turtles. But, um... That's just me. That's really the only criticism I have. But I also have that. I really enjoyed Turtles Forever. I remember when it came out in, um... On the CW. For kids. Back when Saturday, Saturday morning cartoons were a thing. Because, um, I remember watching the original Ninja Turtle, like, the 2003 Turtles. Then was fast forward, then back to the sewers. And then I remember hearing that they were going to, like, wrap up this show by having this, these turtles, meaning these turtles. And I was like, oh my god, what? Because at the time, like I said, the multiverse, like, wasn't as normal as a thing as just now. Now we got, like, Doctor Strange and Spider-Man, No Way Home. It wasn't as common back then. So I was like, oh my god, this is so exciting. And I thought that was so pretty cool. I forgot how old I was back in like 2010. Well, I'm 26 now. So like, I want to say 13. About 13 when this movie came out. But hell, I, my 13 year old self... 13, 12 year old, depending on when this came out, I enjoyed this show, I mean, movie, so much. And I've only had, like, the third and fifth season of the 80s Turtles to base these Turtles off of. But. I highly recommend if you guys. Or uh, you are huge Ninja Turtle fans, give this movie a shot. I know I kind of like dogged on a bit about on the eighty turtles, and my the thing I really dogged on was the they should have used the eight their theme song, um, or like they used should should have used the eighties turtles theme when they were saying April. And that was really about it, and being tad more ir serious. I can understand them not being able to bring back the original cast. I can get that. Even though it would be cool. But I, I can understand that. But, um. I think. The, Tur uh, the Turtles Forever movie is a movie worth watching. And you guys. Like I said, if you guys are um, fans of the 2003 or 1980s Turtles, I think you guys should definitely give this a watch. Um, just know this will have, like, this was made in 2010, so don't expect to find the Rise of the Ninja Turtles uh, show or the um, Michael Bay Turtles or the Last Ronin Turtles be part of... The whole turtle montage to this when they actually had that montage because they weren't out by the time this was out came out. Um, so otherwise, I could expect at least the Rice Turtles, the 2012 Turtles, and the Michael Bay Turtles 
being in the display. But outside of that, what do you wonderful people think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. And I'll talk to you fellow mutants later. Later, taters.